I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. And in this one, I'm going to talk about three state gates. And a three state gate would be any sort of gate. Uh, I'm going to draw a buffer here that has an enable input and uh, output enable. And so let's say for this buffer, uh, what I have for the input is, um, let me finish drawing. Okay, what I have on the input is output on the output if enable is high. If enable is low, what I have on the input doesn't matter. Uh, nothing is output on the output not a high, not a low, it's high impedance. And what this allows you to do is have multiple circuits connected directly to each other. You, usually this would be a no-no, having two outputs connected directly together with just a wire. But if I have an enable on this one as well, then I can have uh, data coming from this source and then maybe what I have is I have a uh, an inverter here coming to there and this is my select so I can either have data coming from this or data coming from this um, where this is used is uh, or at least one case of where it's used is Let's say I have a bus on, uh, in, a, in a processor and I share that bus between different things. So sometimes data might be flowing this way, sometimes it might be flowing this way, uh, sometimes maybe it's a, a multi-drop bus where I have multiple things. Uh, if I use three state gates over here and here and here and here, then I can allow this bus to be use so it might go from here to here or it might come from here to the main processor whatever I want to do. Uh, in a related note uh, this isn't exactly a digital logic circuit but you'll often see it on digital logic circuits is let's say you have an output and uh, this is your processor or whatever in this pin this pin might be called what is open, what is called open drain. Or it could be called open collector. And uh, I'll draw open drain first. Open drain is just simply you have a um, transistor here, an NPN. So this is coming from your, your circuit, and this is the actual output here. Uh, so this can sync current, but it can't uh, drive it high. And that is useful in situations where, A, you want to do what we are doing with the tri-state gate, where you have multiple things connected to uh, one, one data line. And so what you would do is you'd have, uh, say, sometimes you'll see this on like an I2C chip or an SPI chip where uh, you have multiple chips with different addresses and they all need to drive the same line. So I'll just draw two of them. And uh, then what I end up having somewhere in the circuit, I have a pull-up resistor. And so then uh, when the gate, when the transistor is not um, engaged or powered up, uh, it is driven high. And when the transistor uh, is powered up, <laughs> that's certainly the wrong way of saying it, but I can't remember the right way at the moment. Uh, when, it, when it's enabled, it is a lower resistance than this and it draws the line low. Um, Another way that that's useful to use 
uh, is if you are interfacing, say you have, and this is becoming more and more of a common thing. When I started out with electronics, pretty much everything was 5 volts. But now I'm starting to see devices that are 3.3 pretty commonly. And now it's getting to be 1.7 volts and 0.9 volts. Um, so what you can do with these is you can interface with different voltage uh, um, levels. <laughs> so if I have a 3.3 volt device and I have a open drain, uh, is that right? No, open collector output. Maybe it's 3.3 volts coming into here, but uh, I could have my pull-up resistor going up to 5 volts. And then this has a voltage swing of 0 to 5 volts. And vice versa, if this was a 5 volt system and I wanted to interface with 3.3 volts, I would just have my pull-up resistor going to 3.3. And one final, uh, actually no, not one final. Um, so we've got open drain and open collector, and what's the difference between those? So we have, um, for an open drain, that is a MOSFET-based uh, or a FET-based output. So instead of a transistor, we have a FET, and this would be our output here, uh, open collector. And, and it's called open drain because this is drain gate source on a FET. And on a transistor, it's collector base emitter. So uh, there you go. There's another useful little circuit. It's not exactly digital logic, but it's related to what I was talking about. And it was such a short one, I figured I'd throw this in. So uh, if you found this video useful, take a look at my YouTube channel where I have other videos about digital logic. For robotbrigade.com, I'm Jack Buffington.